is a water-soluble vitamin that is important for nerve health, for the formation of red blood cells, and for energy. When we're low in this vitamin, we can experience low energy or mood, brain fog, numbness or tingling in the hands and feet, or anemia. B12 deficiency is common for a couple of reasons. This vitamin is not found in plant-based foods, and absorption through the gut is an intricate process. First, the vitamin has to be processed by a specific enzyme in the stomach, and then bound to a specific protein before being absorbed in the distal ileum, which is a small area of the small intestine. For these reasons, B12 deficiency is most common among vegans, those with GI issues, and those taking certain medications, such as PPIs. In the US, labs report a normal B12 level to be between 200 and 1,000. But I have found that most people feel best at a level of at least 4 or 500. In fact, in Japan, the cutoff for a normal level is at least 500. So if you'd like to take a B12 supplement, there are two things to keep in mind. The type of B12 you're taking and the form of the supplement. Cyanocobalamin is the most common type of B12 in supplements, but this is a synthetic precursor to the active form, and it contains cyanide. For these reasons, I prefer methylcobalamin, which is the biologically active form. In order to bypass the delicacies of gut absorption, I recommend taking a sublingual supplement, such as a lozenge or a spray, or in some cases, taking an injectable. Remember that since B12 is a water-soluble vitamin, it is safe for almost anyone to take.